Hey everybody, I want to welcome you back to Warden's Farm. It's March 9th, it's 12 noon, it's 61 degrees. It's overcast, but I'm going to get into the bees because we got some cold weather coming in where we're actually going to drop back down into the 20s. So I want to get into the hives. I got a couple of supers. I want to add on a few of the hives because they're getting crowded and the bees are bringing in so much pollen and actually starting to bring in a little bit of nectar. So I want to get the queen excluders on and the supers and see how the bees are doing. So let's go get into the hives. This is hive number one. It has a deep and a super on. I'm gonna be lifting the super up, putting another deep on top of it, on top of the deep that's there, put the queen excluder on, and that way the super that's there can start getting filled up with nectar and honey as the brood hatches out and the bees need places to put pollen and the nectar when it starts coming in. Like always, we're going to let the bees know we're coming in. Give them just a little bit of smoke in the front. And then we'll take the blocks off or the bricks. Then we'll take off the outer cover, exposing the inner cover. And as you can see, there's quite a few bees. So we're going to give them some smoke. That way they don't get too excited. And I always put the inner cover at the front entrance just so that the bees can climb up. But I always look on the inner cover just in case there's a queen <laughs> crawling around on it. We're gonna do a quick inspection here. We're running nine frames. They got all the frames built out except for the one closest to my left. So we're gonna check these out, see what the queen's got going in there. This is one that I added that's not built out yet, so... so we'll see what they're, you can see they're building this crazy comb because they're filling it out and they'll, they'll fix this eventually but what I always do is I try to discourage any of this crazy looking stuff and then that way they can hopefully fix it and uh, go from there and spreading it out. This frame here, they've expanded it out quite a bit and it's glued to the bottom frame with a bunch of brood that's capped of drones. You can see there's Cap brood here, there's capped sugar water, and a lot of drone cells on the bottom here. So we're going to take the drone cells off and set them down. And we'll check them for mites just to be on the safe side here in a little bit. But that is a heavy frame. You can see how they've built it out. So that's why I'll be moving this box up and putting the queen excluder on top of the super that I'm going to add on top of this one. So they have plenty of food to support this idea. And this is a hive that's getting ready to swarm. You can see all the queen cups. None of them are charged, thank goodness. But you can definitely see that they're getting ready to think about swarming. So by adding that box, it's the perfect time as this frame is full of larvae and eggs. 
Look at all those queen cups. This hive is definitely thinking about swarming. But it's that time of year. It's that time of year where they start thinking about it. Could be why they're starting to raise a bunch of drones. Definitely more brood. And what we'll do, we'll check these frames one last time to make sure my queen's not here. We'll check the bottom box because we'll be setting this off to the side so that we can verify our queen's not in here. And so far I don't see her here, but I do see more queen cups though. There's another one there. And you see they're building this frame out. They've done some craziness on this side, which is all drones. So I'll probably switch this out and get rid of this and get rid of this. That way they can build themselves out. I'll fix this frame and then we'll put it back in. I see queen cups right on top of the deep, but we're going to get rid of all this excessive comb that they've been building. They got a lot of bees in the feeder. We got eight frames in here, but I'm gonna take the feeder out and add frames into the deep here. Just double check it for the queen. Shake the bees off. I see drones. There's eggs in every cell that I see there. I do not see our queen on that frame, nor in the box on the wall. Some drones, and there's our queen. Our queen's right here, so we know she's there. So she's in the bottom box. A lot of pollen, a lot of brood, cap brood. You can see all the cap brood, the pollen's on the outer edges. Looks like a lot of pollen and brood on that side. That one is not charged but they're definitely thinking about it. So there, so that's good. So now we're gonna add another deep and then put the queen excluder on on top of that. So this will give the bees more room to expand. And then I'm gonna put the queen excluder on that. I gotta add a few more frames. In this top box, I'm running 10 frames. That way, hopefully they don't build all this crazy looking comb stuff. And I'm gonna put the queen excluder on. And then I'll put the super on top of that that had the brood and this way I'm putting 
the medium on top here. So when these bees hatch out, they'll be able to go back and forth, but the queen won't. She won't be able to get up in here. And we're gonna run 10 frames in this box now, instead of the nine. We'll put the inner cover back on. That'll keep the bees inside. And put the outer cover on. And that's hive one. We're in hive number five. And I was getting ready to add a super onto it. But at, during the inspection, I'm gonna end up making splits because I have two charged queen cells on the bottom of this frame. And that's the fourth frame that I've checked. So I'm gonna move them into a nuck. I'll move some other frames in here. And then I'll probably end up moving them out to the farm. So we went ahead and we removed three frames out and we checkerboard this frame with comb, no comb, et cetera, et cetera. So we got this one set. So now I'm getting ready to go down and check the bottom box and see if there's any queen cells down there. Okay, to summarize, high five. We went into high five. We ended up finding seven queen cells. I ended up taking three of them and put them into a nuck with three frames. The rest of them I broke apart. The queen is in here. She's doing well. She has a heck of a brood pattern. We went ahead, we added the queen excluder and then we added a medium or a super box on top of it. So that way then the bees got a place to expand. They can actually start storing stores up in the top box because it's all drawn comb. And hopefully that will stop them from swarming. So hive one, hive three, hive four, and hive five, we've gone ahead and we've expanded. Hive two, I went in and I checked it. There are two queen cells from when we put the frame in last week. So in another week, it should be good to go. And then they should start building up too. Tomorrow, or the next warm day we got, I'm gonna do hive six, hive seven, and then I gotta get into Jeff's hives out of the coal farm hives, because I know they're getting ready to blow up as well. So this is Paul from Warden's Farm. Thanks, have a good day, God bless. If you like what you see, hit the like button, and please subscribe to the channel, tell your friends about it, and hopefully we can learn some beekeeping together. I did expand every, uh, frame to 10 frames now. I took all the feeders out. There's plenty of space and plenty of food in every one of them. So all the frames, or rather all the boxes have 10 frames now in all the beehives that I went through today. So again, thanks. Have a great day.